Alright, but as you can see, we now have a super mess on my hands. So, I got a big wire brush right here. I don't know if you can see the other part here. Look, I got most of that cleaned off. And then we're going to have to clean it and scrub it and get all the debris that got in there out, all the RTV. So, what I got here is, I took this guy first and did a lot of hand on that one. So, I think I was going to do here. But, this will take forever. You want at least one that, a wire brush of this size. But I'm going to show you what I... I switched to and hopefully you have one of these if not maybe you want to get one this is a wire brush you put in the end of your drill okay and this will save you put some googles on so you don't get the crap in your eyes and flame this is going to save you because look let me move some of the stuff out of my way i got a mess here guys it's a total disaster so again watch this decide you want to take it on still go for it you know what? Pay the five hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. I know. If I wasn't doing a video, I guess it maybe wouldn't be as bad. It wouldn't have took me as long. So maybe this wouldn't be bad. I'd probably be done in a third of the time less. But so, can y'all still see what I'm doing here? Okay. So I just come in here, lightly apply this, and this the way through as well. Some of the bigger glues of RTV, you're going to have to hold it over. But what I found is if I hold it here, turn the drill right here, it takes it to a better angle the way the spinning goes. So it might move much. Make sure you have a few batteries for your drill because you're going to burn it up like this. And go right through them. Like I said, where it's thick there, you have to come in and just okay. all right. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to pause this and I'm put it in that super fast mode, okay? So you guys can watch me clean up and it not take as much, okay? So. Hey everybody, so we got it done. You know, see the hyperlapse so you can watch me do it faster than I have to watch. I don't know how long it took, a few minutes, 10, 15 minutes. All cleaned off. I got most of this off. I'm going to do a little more touch up here and there on it. Um, cleaned up, and then we're going to get to the process of replacing that, which is what our whole problem was, you know, 12 years later. So you decide. $500, they do it. Bye, bye, bye. It might even be cheaper if you bring it in. Like, just take this off. This eight bolts I showed you in the beginning and take it into them and have them do it. Might save you a few bucks and headaches. But if you're like me and you're stupid, you know, like, well, I got the stuff I can do with myself, which I can do. But man, it was a lot of stupid stuff. Maybe if I did this all day because I do know how to work on stuff, if like my job was this, it wouldn't take that long. Boom, boom, boom. You know the order. Have the area. You'd have the thing up there. You'd be good. So that's why they can do it for a little less. All right. So that's it. I'll be back in a little while. I'm going to tug away on that a little more, clean up some of my mess, double check. I'm going to print out a diagram to make sure I put everything back. I know pretty much everything, but there is a keyway, which if you all saw fell out, it's a little keyway. And uh, it's under this mess now. Maybe I'll put it in here. Hold on. There's not a new one in the bag either, so I can't I need it. But it's not just that, as it said. I don't know where it came out of. It came out of when I flipped it over. 
I'm thinking it came off of the bottom of this guy. So I think it goes right there in this ridge. And I'm looking up and it's going to tell me or not because this was the one that goes through. Mm -mm -mm. From this angle, I don't got it. Mm -hmm. Not that guy. Um, that one, I think. I believe it's that one. We'll look at it in a minute. I'm, I'm going to do it in the order. This one that came off in the beginning, but I think the keyway stayed down in its hole right there. I think it's that one. And the keyway stayed in there. Okay? We'll show you in a minute. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Or is it this guy? Let me see. It's not this one. Right? No, it's this one right here. See it? Okay. So I'm pretty sure Keyway could have came off that and fell through, but I don't know until I get in there. All right. And like I said, I'm going to look for a, what do you call it? I also have this guy that has a ridge, which he came off of right there. And the Keyway could have went on him too. Um, but we're going to look. And I wish I had the Keyway right in the open. I'm telling you about it. That's under this mess. But it is here. It didn't be in here. Oh, I found it. It's in my bin. It's like a keyway, is what they call them, you know. It goes on the side of a shaft and it holds it in its place usually. Okay. So yeah, I'm rambling on. Let me dry my hands because I cannot like stop the video now because I'm covered in oil. Alright, and we'll be back in a little bit.